digital marketers, how many times have you encountered this scenario? You get approached by a potential client who has a thing they've made and they say, I'd like to hire you to market this thing. And then you ask, um, what is that thing? And who's the audience? We don't even know what it is yet. We don't know what it is. To which you get a blank stare. Right? Today, I'm going to make the case for marketing as the thing that comes before the thing, explain why you set yourself up for failure when you think of marketing as an afterthought, and give you some resources that will help you integrate marketing into your process long before you produce anything. My name is Tara, and this is Truly Social. problem lies in the way that marketing has been uh, marketed to business. Even the dictionary definition is problematic. A quick search tells me that marketing is the action or business of promoting and selling products or services including market research and advertising. Ugh. At least they mention market research? But in the definition, it assumes that marketing is a thing that you apply to something that already exists. And I think that's what most people erroneously think of when they think of marketing. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. But the business definition of marketing, according to Business Dictionary, and any marketer who knows her stuff is, the management process through which goods and services move from concept to the customer. In other words, marketing happens before, during, and after the process of developing those products or services. If you don't bring marketing into the mix before you develop products or services, you will probably end up with something that is completely unmarketable. In that it has no market to which it can be marketed to. I can't even see what's good anymore. If you think that this is rare or a non-issue, let me tell you that 90% of businesses that have approached me over the years have come to me with a product that has an ill-defined audience. These businesses are under the erroneous assumption that everyone is the audience for their product or service. But as we've covered before on Truly Social, everyone is not the audience. And no matter how much of a special snowflake you think you or your product is, you are wrong about it being for everyone. So so how do you apply marketing to something that doesn't even exist yet? Well, that's easy. You create and test your assumptions. When you assume, you make an ass of you and me. One of the first things I gift to new clients is Gift Constable's Talking to Humans. It's a fantastic book that helps businesses in early stages of ideation make certain that they have a product market fit. Talking to Humans is a gosh darn gift to any business. What a world, what a place, what a gift. In it, Constable outlines clear and simple steps to testing your assumptions about the product or service you're creating in order to make certain it matches the needs and expectations of your market. It's about getting outside of your bubble and <laughs> talking to real humans in a customer discovery process. Number one, you first list your assumptions that you're basing your entire future success on, such as, we believe that a certain group of people really, really need this product or service. And we believe that our early customers are this specific group of people. And we believe that this specific group of people will buy our product or service because of this reason. And we believe that a certain group of people will pay X dollars for this product or service. And we believe that the best way to reach this group of people is through these channels. And we believe that they will stop using the product or service they are currently using because of this reason, if you have competitors. And so on and so forth. Constable supplies amazing templates to help you get your assumptions right. Then he supplies multiple ways to test those assumptions beyond your own biases or asking friends. By the way, friends are not good test subjects. If you follow Constable's advice, you'll end up with a better product or service with a clearly defined audience and a better path to reaching that audience, which will make the sales, promotions, and advertising a piece of cake, which we all want in the end. So next time you find yourself thinking that marketing is something that you do when it's time to go to market, give yourself a quick kick in the butt and pick up gift constables talking to humans, or at least hire a marketer that focuses on research first and foremost. That's how winning is done. My name is Tara, and this has been Truly Social. Mm -hmm.